What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So in this video, we are going to talk about the museum and everything that was revealed in the Animal Crossing Direct today regarding the museum. We're going to analyze some screenshots, some videos, some stuff like that. So it's going to be a very, very fun video because the museum is honestly one of the best uh, experiences in, in things to do, you know, from a completionist aspect to just it's just so important to an Animal Crossing experience that, you know, this is definitely something that everybody's going to want to know a lot about. Uh, so let's jump right into the brand new museum experience. All right, so we're going to start off with a short video that Nintendo posted on the official Animal Crossing page after the Direct, and it gives us a little more insight and a little more, or a few more views of the museum and kind of the process of going into it. So here we are, we start off by getting a fossil, and we hear that brand new fossil found sound. We hear the same thing when catching this fish. This is a brand new fish. I'm not sure the name of it, um, but that's pretty exciting. You can see here, we're walking into the museum and then we meet Bla Blathers and you can hear, you know, the, the question mark go um, kind of above his head. And then, you know, this is when you, um, you know, you really enter the museum. Also, there's a downstairs. Looks like the fossils are going to be downstairs and then everything else is going to be upstairs. So that's important. Um, here is a look at the dinosaur aspect of the museum, all the exhibits. And you can see, you know, from, from different footprints to uh, kind of incomplete dinosaur bones from fossils. So that's, that's kind of cool. Here's part of the bug uh, exhibit. And we're going to look at some screenshots as well here in a minute. But very very cool this is something that is absolutely amazing and i wanted to touch on this so you can see that there's something above here it looks like a uh, a tank above and i think we have a screenshot of that in a minute but you can walk above a tank and you can see this is the top of the tank so you're actually taking a staircase down underneath this is similar to like you know if you've ever been to a giant aquarium you you have those tunnels that you're surrounded by water uh, this is very similar to that. So you can see us walking through uh, one of these tunnels. If you look here, it looks like there's two red snapper. So that's kind of interesting. It's taking more of that aquarium, like real life aquarium kind of vibe where you have a lot of the same fish uh, and really have like a whole ecosystem. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you've got, this looks like a brand new fish over here. Uh, the, the, the infamous sea bass looks like you have a flounder uh, down there. But I mean, guys, just look at, you know, you're walking underneath and then it takes you into this other exhibit room where you really can see like a sea butterfly and it looks like there's a staircase to get us back to the top. I mean, guys, this is absolutely incredible. Okay, so back to the still images aspect of this. So here's the outside of the museum. Uh, we kind of saw it in the video, but this is in a different placement. It looks incredible. I love the out the updated um, the updated look, you can see the red carpet as you kind of go in, just very, very cool. Love, love seeing this. Now here we get into, uh, looks like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of butterflies flying around. Uh, maybe we can decorate with different flowers. It looks like there's definitely some openings, um, when it comes to like this part right here up at the top, looks like there's some openings, so maybe we can customize, but I love this fountain. I love that, you know, this back window is open. Just so, so cool. It really feels like an exhibit in, in somewhere that, you know, a destination almost. And then we get into more of the aquarium aspect, which you guys know is one of my favorite parts of Animal Crossing. You see the shark, uh, you see the whale shark, and honestly, that whale shark looks incredible. Uh, you can see an update to the actual uh, great white shark. You can see a mahi-mahi. We got our best friend up here, the ocean sunfish. Um, what else do we have in here? Some other fish, a school of fish. That's pretty cool. You can see the, the I, don't, I forget what they're called, that follow the whale shark. Um, but you've got that, that going on. So this is just a really cool tank. Um, it wasn't in the video that we saw initially. Uh, in this, you know, the, the pre-video that I showed you guys, this wasn't in there. So kind of cool to see something else. And then we get into this tank right here and you see the Napoleon fish, you see the coral reef. Um, and, and this is just so beautiful. And this is the part where, you know, in that, in that little clip that I played to open up the, the video, if you go off to the left here, it'll actually take you down into the tank into the the underground tunnel or the the tunnel that takes you under the water if you will 
um, and then it looks like this floor here you can see underneath and you can see stuff at the bottom so just very very cool uh, very detailed coral reef aspect and then we get into this part this is going to be your uh, like your river and lake uh, type of fish so we've got a little tank right here you've got a salmon tank over here looks like we've got a sweet pit sweet fish in a uh, pond smelt I believe and I'm not really sure what's happening down here it's kind of hard to tell uh, but it looks like we've got something down here as well uh, so and then we can go up the ramp so this thing is th this exhibit this whole museum is just absolutely massive I mean, it, it truly is. It's an experience and something that we can all enjoy as we complete it, um, as well as, you know, visiting other people's towns. It's just going to be amazing. Now, moving on, we are back into the bug exhibit. You can see beetles on the trees here. Um, let's see. You see, I, guess, I think it's a beetle on the flower down here, but definitely some updated um, exhibits here. You got a river flowing through, which is kind of cool, added on, and you got a staircase, which leads to more, and then we'll follow the path even further around you can see that you have koi fish in the river so that's just another aspect like it's kind of uh, merging the two together merging the the aquarium with the insectarium if you will um, you've got a beautiful blue butterfly here I forget the name of it but then you've got another uh, island beetle up here and then we can go even higher and there's more palm trees more stuff to look at more things to explore i mean they honestly blew this aquarium out or blew this museum out of the water here we are in the in the fossil exhibit we have a some kind of dinosaur mammoth something that is not um, looks like looks to be a dinosaur in this case something that is not complete yet uh, but it is cool that we have like this big open area with giant ones in the middle and then stuff you can see on the left and at the top just all around and then you have another staircase which takes us somewhere you know which is super super exciting overall I'm literally so excited to to explore this and then finally the last image that I want to show you guys this was shown in the direct since we can put furniture and anything outside and decorate the outside you can actually like put you know dinosaurs outside of the museum to kind of set the vibe uh, for the museum then here we have like a fossil at the bottom too I kind of like that I really dig that idea um, but you know you can see they put walls around it and kind of really made it like an exhibit um, and then also something that's kind of cool about this image that I didn't really realize is it's got uh, like exhibit lights almost and that's pretty cool it's kind of like shows it up I'm sure that looks really good at night uh, one weird thing there's a power line in this photo kind of weird uh, but it is very cool that we can put uh, dinosaurs and fish and all of that outside so we can really set the mood for outside of the aquarium and museum and all of that good stuff so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about the brand new museum all the updates that they made I am honestly blown away by all the updates and the changes that they make um, I mean I I, I really lost speech. I'm, I'm speechless. Like, I'm a loss for words. I, I don't even know what to say. This thing is just so amazing. It is better than anything that I could ever imagine or asked for um, in this direct and in this information drop. I mean, it is just absolutely unbelievable. So, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about the museum. Would love to hear. Uh, if you want to win a Nintendo Switch, an Animal Crossing Special Edition Nintendo Switch, make sure you hit the link in the description. You could possibly win one. And yeah, for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content, keep it right here, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Later!